We've got to try and deliver to the people of Pennsylvania a budget in which we live within our means, a budget in which we address those increases that we have no option to do. You know, they're, they're not discretionary increases, but we still have to come up with the money. And we have to really look at how our revenues are coming in. The Pennsylvania Employee Liability Self-Insurance Fund. This is something that in my 11 plus years in the General Assembly, I had not been aware of, but it's basically a fund that is paid through assessments per personnel. Every state agency pays into it. Our state system of higher education pays into it. And it is an insurance fund, a self-insurance fund, that could cover a number of things, but we've recently seen it coming to light with covering abusive behavior in the workplace, whether it's uh, sexual abuse, hostile work environment, things like that. I am concerned, A, that we've had taxpayer dollars paid out on these things. We need to be investing in our cybersecurity infrastructure here. We need to be tapping on brains that are not just elected officials or state employees, but some of the experts throughout the country. Uh, we are, we hold on to very important information, be it through the Department of Health, be it through the Department of Revenue, to, to the Treasury. You could name each one of these corrections, the schools. I mean, the list goes on. Um, it's terrific that last year the Office of the Administration has consolidated some IT services. I'm just not convinced yet, and I know there's nothing that's foolproof. I'm not convinced yet that we're putting sufficient money into this. And um, it's just another area where I think we could be caught in trouble because in not investing on the front end for cybersecurity, we can find ourselves in, a, in the same situation as a state like uh, South Carolina when they are then paying for credit monitoring for a year, two years, whatever the agreement is. I think we can pass it on time. I think in order to pass it on time, we need a mindset that we want to pass it on time, and that means that we're willing to have some compromises. You know, the people I represent, I'll use a football analogy, they're typically playing on the between the 40-yard lines. And what we have here in both chambers, on both sides of the aisle, are folks that want to play just between the zero and 20, and we're not going to get anywhere with this budget or anything else if we don't find a way to meet in the middle and to give the people a responsible budget that covers the basic needs and wants that we have here in the Commonwealth.